Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is about the derivation of current expression in MOSFET and also let us see the device design equations. Let us get in. In the previous video itself, we have seen the NMOS announcement mode transistor and its working. If we categorize the working of the transistor into three regions, the first region is cutoff region. In the cutoff region, we will be applying the voltage from gate. The sufficient voltage in the gate is it should be greater than the threshold voltage. Threshold voltage is the minimum voltage required to turn on the transistor. So before applying VDS, we need to apply VGS that is more than VT. And VDS is zero means the current will not flow in the transistor, but because of VGS applied, the channel is formed in between drain and source over here. This channel is uniformly formed from drain to source. But when we start applying VDS, this VDS is started to apply the transistor working we call it as linear region and depending on the VDS as we increase further current IDS also increases. Because of VDS increases the voltage drop occurs at the drain end so the channel becomes thinner towards drain as we increase VDS. So we need to maintain VDS in such a way that it should be less than VGS minus VT then only the channel will be existed at the drain end so that current will flow. Then the next region is saturation region. In the saturation region the condition says if we increase VDS further more than VGS minus VT the channel become pinched off there is no channel exist at the drain end. Because of that the channel current becomes constant over here. So with these three regions now we need to find out what is the expression for current we are going to get. In the cutoff region, as I said, there is no current flow. That's why we say IDS is equal to zero. In the linear region, so as we start applying VDS over here, and also there is VGS sufficiently available to create the channel. In this condition, both VGS and VDS are affecting the current flow. That's why in the expression you can see, VGS minus VT is the voltage at the channel that will also affected by applying VDS. So in the expression we got, VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square divided by 2. Let us see how we got this expression for the non-saturation region by deriving this. In the saturation region, we have exceeded the limit of VDS. So VDS will be more than VGS minus VT. So because of that, the channel becomes pinched off and current will not be depending on VDS. So in the expression, you can see beta by 2 into VGS minus VT whole square. In this expression, you will not find VDS at all. There is no dependency of VDS for the current. In this, there is a parameter called beta. This beta is a constant parameter where it is equal to K into W by L. W by L as in the diagram shown, this is width of the channel and L is length of the channel. And this K is a constant that K is equal to epsilon INS epsilon naught mu divided by TOX. Here epsilon INS is the relative permittivity of the insulator between the gate and channel what we have this insulator layer and epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space. This mu is because of the mobility of electrons in the end transistor and this TOX is thickness of that oxide. After taking all these into consideration we arrive with the expression of these two for the linear region and also for the saturation region. Now let us try to derive the expression for this. To derive the expression for current, we need to look at this diagram clearly. Here the 3D structure of this NMOS transistor is shown. The source and drain regions you can see over here, it is indicated. In between source and drain, we will be obtaining a channel over here. So the length of the channel will be the distance between source and drain regions. In between source and drain, what is the length available that will be treated as length of the channel L and how long we extend that further will be W that is width of the channel you can see this is width and in between the gate and the channel we will be having a oxide layer that you can see as D over here that is thickness of the gate oxide. So by considering this if you write the expression for current that is in end transistor that is IDS it will be equal to minus ISD. If you take it reverse, it is minus IST. So, so the current will be equal to 
the charge induced in the channel QC divided by electron transit time in that channel. So if you take this electron transit time over here, tau SD is equal to length of the channel divided by velocity. We need to consider the length of the channel divided by velocity. If you do, we will get a time. So here the velocity can be written as mu into EDS. Mu, as I said, it is electron mobility in the N channel and EDS is the electric field between drain and source. And here VDS can also be written as it is because of the voltage VDS applied. So VDS divided by L is EDS. If you substitute this in the uh, velocity expression, velocity will be equal to mu into VDS divided by L. Now we can put this expression into velocity. So the transit time will be tau SD is equal to L square divided by mu into VDS. If you see the mobility of electrons, a standard value that is 650 centimeter square per voltage second and mobility of holes in P transistor will be 240 centimeter square per voltage second. So now we got the expression for tau. We need to get the expression for the charge induced in the channel that is QC. You can see over here. QC will be equal to EG epsilon INS epsilon naught W into L. Here EG is the average electric field between the gate and channel. Epsilon INS is the relative permittivity of the insulation layer. Epsilon naught is the relative permittivity of the free space and WL is width and length. Now by taking these two expressions, this and this, we can write an expression for current in a non-saturation region. As we know, in a non-saturation region, we will be having the gate voltage sufficient more than VT. And because of that, there is a channel existed between the drain as well as source equally. Once we start applying VDS, there is a voltage positive over here and also at the drain over here. Because of that, the voltage drop occurs at the drain end. So if you take the voltage along the channel, it will be VGS minus VT. And because of start applying VDS, we can take it as VGS minus VT minus VDS divided by 2 is the voltage we are going to get. That's why the expression for EG that is the electric that is the electric field between the drain to source will be equal to VGS minus VT minus VDS by 2 into D. D is thickness. Just substitute the expression for EG over here. We will be obtaining the expression for QC that is charge. Now W into L epsilon INS epsilon naught divided by D into this voltage expression. So in the previous uh, one we have seen the transit time. Now we got the expression for QC. Now we can have these two expressions and substitute in the main expression of this, this expression. So we are getting the expression for IDS as epsilon INS epsilon naught mu divided by D into W by L into VGS minus VT minus VDS by 2 into VDS. This is the expression for current in the non-saturation region. Now there are some constants over here. Epsilon naught, epsilon INS, mu, uh, even if we take D as constant, we can write it as K now. That expression simply becomes K into W by L into VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square divided by 2. Now, if we take this K into W by L as beta, again expression becomes very simple. Beta into VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square divided by 2. This is the standard expression now we can consider for the current flowing through the device in non-saturation region. Now if we try to write an expression for saturation region, what changes? This changes. Here the electric field changes. In the saturation region, we are going to apply VDS further. That VDS last is control on the current. That's why there is no VDS expression we got while taking the electric field between drain to source. That's why you can see the current expression over here IDS is equal to this constant that is K into W by L. Now in the voltage values if you see it is VGS minus VT all square divided by 2. Here there is no VDS comes into picture in saturation region expression. So if you write this as K, K into W by L into VGS minus VT all square divided by 2. If you write this parameter as beta, beta by 2 into VGS minus VT all square is the current expression for saturation region. So this current is constant current. We call it as constant. Why? Because even if we increase VDS further, 
current IDS will not increase, IDS will be constant. So, but it will be dependent on VGS. If we increase VGS further, IDS increases. Now, if we combine all these three and see quickly, current IDS is zero in cutoff region. Current expression is this in non-saturation region. Current expression is this in saturation region. If you see here, there is VGS and VDS, but in saturation region, the control is only with VGS. This is all about the derivation as well as the current and voltage relationship between the drain source and the gate voltages and the current flow between drain to source. Thank you.